Hi guys, welcome to my coffee shop. My name is Jack and today we're going to do pour over. Pour over with a twist. So we will try uh, the, the profile on the descent to do the pour over. And I will compare it with, with what I normally do with using my spouted kettle. And the, the question is simple. Can I win with the machine? Can my pour over be better than, uh, than the pour over from, from Descent? To grind the coffee, we're going to use uh, my K-Max. Uh, the grind settings are on number seven. The coffee I'm using today, uh, and probably you've seen it, you've seen it from on on this show before. That's a coffee uh, from Good Life Coffee, coffee from Ethiopia. Uh, well, basically just the fruity notes. That's what they say. <laughs> the naturally processed coffee, obviously, because uh, that's what I like the most. I've done espresso uh, with that coffee, and some of the shots. Some of the shots on the default pro, uh, profile on the Descent with that coffee, some of the shots were, ooh, I would describe the taste for the espresso like kind of a raisins, uh, dry fruits, maybe plums. So something sweet with the hint of bitterness. Honestly, very, very good shots. That's my kettle. It's, 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 it's holding uh, the water temperature, by the way, in the background. Uh, so today we will try to do this, uh, to do the pour over. We see what we can can get. Uh, 15 grams of coffee in. I will show you the profile, how it looks like. So there is some glare, but hopefully you are able to see. So well, la, la, la. I'm, I'm choosing V60, 15 grams in. We go into the advance and we go into limits. Now, what I would like to change here is to stop maybe at the volume water. So we will put, I wanna put a little bit less than they do. So I say 230 milliliters of water, uh, but the rest I will, I, will, I will keep the same. As you know, I just got my machine, so I'm not expert uh, but we, we will try i only tried it once and it it was good but it, it 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 poured too much water so that's why i put the restrictions on the water so there will be as you can see there will be a, a blooming phase then there will be first pour second and if if we lucky there will be a third pour and i will do it against just my my own recipe uh, for the pour over um i normally i use three pours and that's what i will do today and yeah let's see who's better which 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 recipe is better and which method is better so first well you know what first let's 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 use decent that's 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 why you're here for you you know how to do the the normal pour over 15 grams of coffee in it will take probably 15 seconds or, or so to, to grind on a, on a K-Max. It's very, very fast, uh, especially for the coarser uh, settings. Yeah, so it took 17, 17 seconds if anybody is, is it's interested. What you have to do here, you have to remove the, the water tray when you do it. Now, something that uh, I already learned with the, my experience doing one pour over, it uses a water that is 100 degrees Celsius. I don't know why, uh, maybe because why, when the water is coming down, it loses the temperature. But if you put your hands underneath and there is a drop of water, you can, you can hurt yourself a little bit. So I did it to myself. So be careful when you, if, if and when you, I'm sure you're smarter than myself, but just, just be careful. Now, for, uh, to do the pour over on the descent, if you've seen the unboxing, you know already, you need a special uh, porta filter. Have a look. So that's a porta filter with just a small number of holes. So you have to, you have to buy it separately. You remove the tray. You need a cup. Okay, yeah, I've got a cup. 
you need a V60. I have a I have a V60. And you need a you need a paper filter, yeah. Now I always like to wash the, the paper filter first. We'll use my, my brewista kettle just to wash off just to wet the paper and then also to warm up. Not sure if we need a scale because the water weight and a, and a volume equals, but I will use the scale just in case. I'm not sure if the scale is necessary for if I set the, the restrictions on the volume. We will make a little hole in the, in the middle. Are we ready? So there will be lots of noise and there will be there will be lots of water uh, splashing. <laughs> Have a look. So it warms up the water. And the water will be splashing, as you can see, very hot water. Really hitting, really hitting that that coffee and then you have to swell that's what they recommend so you swell uh, after each uh, pour but they say don't swell too much otherwise it can clog the the paper filter and it waits you can see everything on the graph but i don't really know how to how to read all of that okay and then there is another one And we we swell again. The water is dripping. So they say it takes about four minutes, but it may take less time or more. I don't know. Okay, and another one. Okay, I hope, yeah. Uh, it, they say that the decent DE1, the, it's good to do the pour over for one or two cups. If you want the more, they recommend to get uh, decent XXL. Uh, let's hope there's enough water in the machine and that will be the last one. And now let's it run. Ah, the timer stopped because uh, the, the 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 scale is connected with the with the machine. So the machine, when the machine stops, it stops the timer as well. Uh, but there is another smaller timer on the on the screen. The, we are already on a forty five seconds since the since the machine stopped. We still have some liquid. As you can see, there is also some mess. So the water is splashing. You know what, it actually took that four, four minutes time all together. So that's how, the, that's how the coffee bed looks like. For me, it looks okay. I mean, it could be cleaner around here. Maybe I, my swelling technique wasn't great, but. So I will, I will put that coffee aside. Let's, let's, let it cools, cools off a little bit. I will prepare my own uh, pour over. I will use three pours. It's easier for me. Uh, please don't criticize me. It is a different recipe. I mean, I know it's a different recipe, but it's easier for me. So, blooming phase forty grams, and then two equal um, pours for about uh, full of ninety-five ish grams each, two hundred and thirty grams altogether. Uh, the same, the same grind settings. So the coffee behind me, it's slowly dripping. It probably will be a bit faster, even though the same grind settings uh, than what we get, what, what we got from, uh, from Decent. But now the Decent coffee cools off a little bit. So it's time to, to taste it. I'm just, I'll be just keeping the eye on my timing there. So it's, it's, it's about two and a half minutes uh, uh, on the same settings with, with my, uh, uh, regular technique so that's something we also have to take into account when we when we judge the tastes of the coffee
it's kind of a kind of a floral, floral uh, almost let, let's let's call them a fruity note. If I if I had to put it on the on the tasting wheel, I would put it somewhere in the green zone, so um, fresh herb like something like that so that's the, that that kind of zone zone here there is a sweetness it's a kind of a kind of typical ethiopian pour over is it the best pour over i've ever had in my life no but it is it's, it's good it's good i probably could get a, a bit more from that there is some kind of fruit in that as well that i cannot I cannot find the name of that very but very very like in a background not not very dominant but this is for the for the like a first or second attempt very very good very good cut so i have to wash my mouth first before i try so i want to give the the other cup chance to cool down let's try the the cup the pour over that i made myself which was so which was a bit too fast okay i wanted to compare them on the same grind settings uh, and that's what we did uh, uh, this one went uh, a bit too fast for my liking two and a half sec two and a half minutes i'm getting more like a honey notes from the the fragrances from the uh from the second cup from the cup that i made myself maybe because it's still a little bit hotter but it smells better. Let's wait a minute. Okay, let's let's wait let's wait till it, till it's cooled down a little bit more. Okay. So now it kind of it it, it the, the smell sweetness, honey, but also I can smell um like a freshly cut grass. That kind of uh, that kind of uh, uh, smell, and it also in the in the first cup from the descent that was also in the uh, not just a fragrance, but that was also in a taste. So let's see if we can get it here. Okay. So today, uh, myself against the machine. I think the machine won today. Uh, the coffee taste there's a very similar uh, flavors okay very similar taste but i'm getting more of that sweetness and nuances um in the in the decent cup neither of those cups it's something that i would say wow the best uh, pour over i've ever had okay uh, maybe i should find a different coffee i was waiting for uh, I've ordered a, a, a very bright coffee, a very fruity bright coffee, but it hasn't been delivered yet. Um, so I decided to try this one. This one is a kind of a medium-ish coffee. So maybe with lighter roast coffees, um, the, those differences would be more present. But for today, unfortunately, I have lost with the machine, with the decent. So uh, could be... <laughs> Because, as I said, there was a minute of difference in extraction time. I'm not experienced enough to explain why. If you could see the, the way the water showers down on the, on the coffee from descent is different than, than the way you pour the coffee on the coffee pack. Even though you, you try to be careful, move around, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit different. Descent did four pours all together. I only did three. Maybe that's why. Unfortunately, there is a there is more more going on in the cup from from descent. I'm, I I lost today. I lost with the machine. <laughs> so guys, leave especially if you have a if you have a descent. Leave leave the comments in a. Leave the comments below. Uh, what should I change? How should I do it in the next time? More and more people are watching to this channel, so thank you very much for for joining, joining me. Uh, no.
plenty of very smart people uh, leaving very very smart comments i read all of them i try to respond to to respond to all of them uh, with each message from you i learn and i learn a lot i'm recording that video on the 17th of of march but i i, I my goal is to upload it on the 19th of march uh, 19th of march because it's my birthday uh, why why am I mentioning my birthday to you guys? Because precisely a year ago, my other half got me a, a Barista Express for my birthday present. Uh, and that's, that's how it started, that madness and obsession with coffee. So then I got an um, electric grinder. Then I got a, a duo boiler, which I eventually I lost. I got uh, La Pavone and now we also play with the decent. So definitely click like and subscribe. Uh, I have plenty of ideas for next videos. Uh, and I know you guys left some comments what you would like to see. So I read all of them. I will try. So you mentioned that you would like to compare me doing a shots with different tools, with WDT, without WDT, seeing how the extraction, how the taste, how it affects the taste. I will do it. We, we still have few grinders to compare. Um, one of the viewers mentioned that the, the, there is an issue with the saturation on, on his phone, that uh, the videos are difficult to watch for him because of that. Uh, Nobody else mentioned that, so if you have any issues, uh, let me know. Uh, and if you have a solution, that's even more important. Uh, but for today, thank you very, very much for watching. My name is Jack. This is uh, my coffee show. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.